Bilal Powell, and you're watching Dan Sports News. You know, Eric, are you watching Dan Sports News? I'm Amy and you're watching Dan Sports News. This is Javon Cornell, and you're watching Dan Sports News. What's up, everybody? Daniel, Dan Sports News. Flores here bringing you another episode of the Dan Sports News and Friends podcast. You can follow me at Dan Sports News on all social media to stay up to date with all my latest articles and interviews. Today's guest is Javon Williams Jr., who is a running back at Southern Illinois Carbondale. Check it out. Just tell me a little bit about your journey into football. How old were you when you first started playing football? Um, so I was about, uh, i say I played uh, youth football for one year, and uh, I was playing running back, had a good year. Um, and towards the end of the year, before we had, like, the – the championship and stuff like that. Uh, they put a weight limit on the running backs because I've always been a bigger, bigger child, a bigger man, be, uh, other than other people. So I ended up stopped playing and went to freshman year. And my dad didn't want me to play co- high school football, but I was like, Just "Let me get a try at it." And then from there, I started playing quarterback. And then I got to college, and then I uh, went to running back. So. Well, yeah, I want to ask you a little bit about your high school um, experience. I know you actually played basketball too. So, what was it yeah. like? Yeah, what was it like balancing the two sports? Um, obviously, playing basketball and playing quarterback of the high school football team. I mean, it kept me on my toes and it kept me in shape, like with my uh, my stamina and their like stuff like that. But uh, it wasn't bad because I mean, my first love was fo- uh, basketball, and I mean, I was really good at it. And I got that shot at playing football, and I ended up being good at that too. So it was uh, it was pretty smooth. And tell me about high school football at Centralia. Um, I know you scored. You, I mean, you had over thirty touchdowns rushing and twenty-two passing touchdowns. So what was it like as a dual threat quarterback in high school? Um, being a, th- a dual threat quarterback in high school. Uh, it was, it was pretty exciting. You know, uh, I had a few challenges, a few adversity, but it's like I, I loved, just like in basketball, I was a point guard. I just, I like being the, the leader on the field, and, you know, calling the shots. And, man, I loved it, honestly. It was a good time. And how was basketball in high school? Like, did you have any offers coming out of high school from any colleges or no? No, uh Going into, I think it was junior year, I knew that obviously I was going to play Division One football. So I was, uh, I told my coach, I was like, I really don't want to know anything about any offers for basketball because I'm just playing with my teammates because they were childhood best friends I had. So I just ended up continuing finishing out in high school. So um, coming out of senior year high school football, what schools offered you um, and what? went into play that you ended up choosing to stay home and play? So uh, I had uh, South Dakota. I had interest from North Dakota State. Um, Illinois was was talking with, uh, the recruiter was talking with my coach about me becoming a fullback, but I had that quarterback ego and I had gone out of high school and I was like, nah, I'm going to play quarterback in college. Um who else? Indiana State. Honestly, that's about it. And Quincy, I had a smaller school. It's Quincy and McKendry. But I ended up picking the SIUC because it's close to home. My family can come watch because I love my fan base for my family. You know, it makes me play harder. It motivates me. And uh, I have a girlfriend from home, so I ended up staying home. So there was no uh, chaos between us. So. Right. And did you have any offers for the quarterback position, or did you know that going into college football, your role was going to be primarily as a running back? So I had all the offers were for quarterback. Oh, okay. Um, I became a running back when I got here after my redshirt freshman year. I was a scout, uh, offensive player of the year, and they were like, you run so naturally, we should probably put you at a primary running back. So I was like, that's fine. And, I took it and ran with it. And this past season, the team went 7-5, and five, which was the best record so far under Coach Nick Hill. Um, how do you think the season went in your eyes? So the season went, it went as planned. We, uh, My first year, well, I say my redshirt year, 
when I got the experience of a team, it was a lot of individuals, you know. And, I mean, you can't have a winning championship team with just individuals wanting their own stats. I've always been a team player, and that's how – that's why I play uh, quarterback. I'll play tight end, receiver, wherever they need me, I'm going to play because I want to do the best for the team. I'm not a – you know, but, uh, yeah, that's what it is. And you, as we know, individually had 1,038 rushing yards, 17 rushing touchdowns, two, rece- two receiving touchdowns, and you also threw two passing touchdowns. Um, what does it mean to you to have all those accomplishments so far only as a freshman in college football? I mean, you know, touchdowns are touchdowns, you know. You get them a lot, but uh, that's expected. I look at that as being that's expected and uh, how hard I work. And uh, can, you, can you repeat that again for me? Yeah, what did it mean to you to, like, accomplish all that just as a freshman? Okay, yeah, so, I mean, it meant, it meant a lot to me because I had to make a statement. I had to show who I was and show my true character. And the coaches, they told me I was, I'm a unique player and just keep working hard every day. And I've always been a hard worker, so it pays off. But this year coming up, I'm, I'm looking forward to an exciting season. And then against Youngstown State, um, you threw a touchdown, you caught one, and you ran for one, becoming the first player in school history to do that. How impressive was that? How cool was that? Oh, it was it was a uh, it was kind of unknown. I didn't know that, and uh, I really wasn't paying attention because I was just in the game mentality. But uh, after the game, the coaches and the players were like, "Do you know what you just did?" And I was like, "I mean, uh, we just won a game. That's all I'm thinking about." He was like, no, you ran one, you caught one, then you threw one. That's never been done in uh, school history. And, I mean, I just patted myself on the shoulder and was like, next, let's go to the next game. Is that something you want to do um, more next season where you throw touchdowns too? Yeah, so uh, that that should uh, that's ideal for the next season. Right. You know, I'm not going to say it out here because I don't know who's watching, but uh, – yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably will throw a little bit more next year. And I know the season ended on a low note. You guys actually lost to North Dakota State, a team, you know, that has won 37 straight games. And some people, you know, consider them right next to Alabama in terms of college football. How good of a team are they really since you've played against them now? <laughs> I mean, I, honestly and personally, no shots. I'm not giving no shots out or nothing, but... uh I would say a lot of I've played against more competitive and better linebackers and better defense, defensive players than North Dakota State individually. Like I've played against it uh, throughout the season, and I mean playing them, they're just they're just like us. They bleed. They're humans. But uh, I th- I just want to say it's probably because I mean they're a very consistent team. I mean you got a consistent team that's on the same page with every aspect of the game. That's the outcome. And that's how we're getting to. So. Right. Is that um, game circled on your calendar for next season as a team you want to beat and hand them a loss? Okay. So I've been, since I was younger, I was always that, that player and that guy that looks for the first game. I'm working on the first game, and then I'll get to that. But, yeah, for sure, I'm very excited to play them. And, and pro- it'll probably be the national title. But, uh I'm 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 re- I'm pretty excited, you know. I'm ready to beat them. So. Now I know you said um you have workout soon. So how is working out so far? How is that going? Since we're still in the coronavirus, have you gotten a chance to get on the field and work with your teammates? What's that like? So due to the pandemic and NCA like rules and stuff, right? With the pandemic going on, we couldn't get together and get a workout in. So it's been a lot of individual work, just you know, masking your craft but uh yeah i mean we do a lot of zoom talks about going through concepts pass plays run plays protection so we're all on the same page through zoom but we just do our individual so say we do an install monday or tuesday on otas i'll just all week i'll go to the field because we can't go to our field I'll go to, like, an open field, somewhere big, and uh, I'll just mentally work through them, so it helps out a lot. Now, who would you say in the NFL is your game most like? Which running back? See, that's that's a very good question. I never really thought about it. 
a lot of people say I'm I'm very powerful and I could I could run through a few people like uh, Derrick Henry, but I'm very elusive when I run. So I mean, I'm agile on my on my feet. So I mean, I would say Derrick Henry and a little bit of dang, that's a good one. Overall, probably Derrick Henry because I, I am a power runner, but I can still when I'm I, I see the open hole, I can turn in second gear and get past everybody and end up scoring. So I got some good uh, second gear. Pizza. Yeah, I could see that. I've seen some of your highlights, and I think more like a Saquon Barkley, Derrick Henry type guy, not a Le'Veon Bell who's like a, you know, a stutter step runner where he sees the holes and stuff like that. You're a power runner where you go forward, go, um, and it works. You average six point four yards per carry this season, which is key in my opinion. That's key to being successful in the NFL. What is your favorite NFL team? Baltimore Ravens. I'm a Lamar Jackson fan. I've been a Lamar Jackson fan since Louisville. And uh, that first highlight when he, he hit that little hezo on him. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm a, a Baltimore fan. They got good defense, and they got a great offense in the NFL. So. All right. Well, I'm a Steelers fan, so, you know, that's a rivalry right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, so we'll you're not a Bears you. fan, even <laughs> though you live in um the Chicago area? Yeah, I mean, I got a few buddies that are uh, Bears fans, but right. – when it comes to like baseball, I'm a Cubs fan, diehard Cubs fan. So, and who are some of the running backs that you like to study, just perfecting their games, um, and you try to mold your craft after? Who do you like to watch? I had an I had an interview about nine months ago, last year, and uh, they asked me the same question. But uh, I watch a lot of Barry Sanders games. And I do a lot of studying on that, just just trying to just, – I'm trying to make my craft perfect. Just, it's much like that, but I always put my own finesse to it, my own style to it. So when it comes down to headlines and stuff like that, they'll, they'll say that he has his own type of style. So. Right. And my last question for you is, where do you see yourself in five years in your football career? Five years, I'm a junior slash sophomore in college as a football player. I I see myself. Let me see. It's hard. I mean, I don't know a team I would play for if I got to pick. I probably I probably would play because I mean Mark Ingram, he's about to be he's gonna he's gonna be gone soon. So by the time in five years, I'll probably be playing for Baltimore Ravens. Couple, I'll probably I'll be consistent with at least twelve hundred yards a season. What are your goals? For this upcoming season, what is something that you'd like to accomplish as a team, one, as a team, and second, individually for this season? So I, my goals and our goals as a family and as brother Bond, we are going to get, uh, you said what? As a team, one, as a team, and second, as an individual for yourself. Okay, yeah. Uh, one, as a team, I see us conference champs. National champs, and then I see individually 1,600 yards rushing uh, and 28 28 touchdowns. All right, I like that. Big goal. Big goals that's going to be, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> successful. Well, Javon, I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to do this interview. Man, all the best in your career. I'm rooting for you, and good luck with this upcoming season. Thank you. Thank you.